Hello, friends. This time of year, the fall, people, kids are back in school, families are back from their travels. We have a lot of new things beginning, or I should say, beginning again. We're back in worship, as we have been for a few months, and we're seeing many people coming back now after several months away because of the COVID situation and waiting for vaccinations. Welcome back. It is so good to see people again. There are some people who are new to the church. Welcome to you. There are some people who have decided they will fit better and be able to serve better in another church, maybe that's closer to where they live. Blessings to you. And if that describes you, but you haven't told us yet, let us know. If you are new to the church and you haven't connected yet, send us a note so we can know who you are and uh, get to know you. This week, we're restarting the men's breakfast. It has been such a long time, and I miss these ridiculous piles of coffee cooker and the coffee and the eggs and the conversation and the laughter. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the men from the church again on Saturday. We'll be starting some of our small group Bible studies again soon. Uh, all these things, and I want to invite you to come or to come back. This is a season where things have improved a lot, but there's still a lot of uncertainty and there is still a virus going around. Thankfully, nobody from the church has been seriously sick. At least nobody has had to go to the hospital. And I'm really grateful for that and very grateful that now things have improved. So this is a time when we need to be careful, but not fearful. Let's be wise and take care, uh, but not be uh, controlled by fears. So it's a time to start to reconnect. If there's some things that you're not comfortable with, that's okay. We're respectful of one another and the differences. Some people wanting a little more different distance and some people who are eager to be close again. Those things are okay, but let's be careful, but not fearful. Our confidence is in God. In the end, we have a God who loves us, who has freed us, who has promised us eternal life. Let us live out of that great confidence that we have in him.